The merging of two arroyos forms the eastern end of Wildwood Canyon. The two arroyos were formed when an ancient lake bed in Thousand Oaks uh, eroded away and emptied out into these arroyos, which caused the canyon to become deeper through erosion. And what we're looking at is the beginning of the Wildwood Canyon Trail, which is the main trail within Wildwood Park. Not even a hundred yards in on the hike, and we reach our first creek crossing. It is one of quite a few. I can't even tell you how many because I haven't really counted them, but it's, it's probably eight or ten creek crossings if you take the entire length of the trail. One of the things that you'll see a lot in Wildwood Park is poison oak, and this ugly little plant in front of us is called mugwort. And mugwort is special in that it helps combat the Arushal oil that causes the dermatitis that you get from contact with poison oak. In fact, a local bike store that I frequent sells bars of soap with mugwort in them. Here's another creek crossing right ahead. They make these rather cheap because they have a tendency to wash away during the winter rains. Right beside the trail is a nice chalk dudlia and then just panning a little ways down the trail is a prickly pear with some nice yellow blooms on top of it. This is the hollowed out trunk of an oak tree that was burned by a fire at one time. And I don't know when it was, it was quite a long time ago, but this tree is still quite alive and well. In fact, if you're at all familiar with fires in the area, you'll know that other trees don't survive fires very well if it gets hot enough, but oak trees generally survive. During the Simi fire, I was out hiking in uh, Happy Camp, and all of the sycamores not only burned to the ground, but they burned, the roots burned. But then I got into an area that had been heavily populated by oaks, and I don't think I saw a single dead oak. In fact, some of their leaves survived the fire. And you can see, looking up here, this is a very vibrant tree still. There's a nice little bend in the creek right here, and this is one of the most pleasant spots along the hike because it's very heavily wooded and it's very scenic. There's an interesting thing to note here, and this is an example of erosion at work. This bend causes the water to pile up against the far bank of the creek, and it erodes away the earth, and you can see all of these oak roots hanging out just in midair. And eventually these trees are probably going to fall into the creek because eventually all of the earth that they're sitting on is going to erode away and there won't be much keeping them standing. But for the time being, they're still doing just fine. They have a very extensive root network. And the creek just meanders on a little bit again until it makes another bend. Here's a nice geology lesson. To the right is basalt. To the left is sandstone. This is a wild rose. They're rather plentiful along this section of the Wildwood Canyon Trail. Well, it's not quite as pretty as the kind that you buy at the flower shop, but this is here in the wild naturally. Here's a sea of cactus. If you were to parachute out of the sky into the canyon, this is not where you'd want to land. Okay, right here is the Meadows Cave. This is right near the terminus of the Indian Creek Trail. And there's a nice picnic ground down below here. This is also the place where the fifth grade hike, which takes place about every April, ends. At the junction of the Wildwood Canyon Trail and the Indian Creek Trail, we have a bridge to cross. Yes, this bridge is wide enough for vehicles and the park rangers drive across it frequently. But we're going to head on down to Paradise Falls from here and 
after about a quarter of a mile the trail won't be wide enough for vehicles so it'll just be us hikers maybe a horse or two and maybe a mountain biker or two okay this vantage point along the wildwood canyon trail is where you can see the wildwood teepee the teepee actually is directly adjacent to the teepee trail what I wanted to point out to you as well is what we have here is possibly the tallest cottonwood tree in the park and it is a majestic one this is one of my favorite parts of the wildwood canyon trail the canyon walls are quite steep here and right here it almost looks like the canyon trail just dead ends it makes a hard right turn around the trees directly in front of us and head straight to the waterfall but... all right this is Paradise Falls in Wildwood Canyon. It's pretty crowded here, as you can probably tell from hearing all of the voices in the background. So do uh, be aware that you're not going to have this place to yourself on most days. All right, we've reached another creek crossing. There's a little wooden plank bridge over beyond the reeds there. There used to be a concrete area here, but it washed away in storms about 15, 20 years ago. And so the only people that go across this are the people that want to get wet and the ranger vehicles. Uh, otherwise, we go over to the planks over here and head across that way and keep our shoes dry. Okay, here's another picnic area along the Wildwood Canyon Trail. This one's a really nice one. This is probably the most secure of the plank bridges that we have to cross. Here's yet another one of the plank bridges that we have to go across. And this area is getting into the less crowded part of the park. I hope you have your Gore-Tex boots for this one because this bridge hasn't been repaired after the heavy winter rains. And you're going to get wet on this one it looks like. Look at that bright red poison oak down there. Okay, we are at the end of the Wildwood Canyon Trail. Actually, behind me is the junction with the Lizard Rock Trail, and the Wildwood Canyon Trail does continue on another, oh, roughly three tenths of a mile until it gets to Hill Canyon Road. But most people will either turn around at this point and head back on the Wildwood Canyon Trail or they're going to head on up the Lizard Rock Trail and get up to the Wildwood Mesa. Now the noise that you can hear behind me is the Hill Canyon Wastewater Treatment Plant, which is the one detractor to this end of the hike. Uh, it's actually a lot better than it used to be. Uh, the, waste treatment plant was improved quite a bit a couple of years ago and they include enclosed a number of the tanks which uh, has helped cut down on the smell but still you know when you're in the middle of a place called wildwood you kind of want to see it be wild and you well, know what can I say seeing wastewater tanks is not really my idea of wild or even pleasant so just be aware that this is your kind of ending with a thud of what is an otherwise great hike.